Today, we are kicking off a week-long series. It's called Spring Clean Your Life. We're gonna introduce you to experts. They're gonna give us tips on everything from cleaning up your finances to what medical tests you should be scheduling right now. We're gonna start things off today with how to get your home organized. Joining us to talk about it is Maggie LaFoley of Essential Styling. She specializes in closets mm. and, um, you know, I feel I like it. Maggie, my colleagues are being a little passive aggressive. I think they really did it because of me. They might have seen some things, <laughs> um, you know, over it. It's fine. You know what? I'm a single mom. I'm so busy organizing a closet. It can be overwhelming. What do I keep? What do I get rid of? Donate, whatever, bags, clothes, shoes. Where do we start? Yes, mm. totally. Thank you guys for having me, first of all. Um, yeah. When it comes to closet organizing, I always recommend that you start by decluttering. I know it can seem mm. such a hard thing to do, uh. but <laughs> have to start by decluttering because you want to have an empty, clean canvas. So that way you can actually create a system <sighs> that works for you. And Sharon, as you said, you are a single mom, so I will highly you know, Thank recommend you, having a system. Yeah, having a system that makes your life easy when it comes to dressing up. Um, and that is also just by properly having, you know, your category. So all your blazers together, all your dresses together, all your pants together. So when you wake up in the morning, it's so easy for you to go in there, dress up and get out. Hmm. Oh, Maggie, right, you're so, you so nice and so young. <laughs> I know, just, uh, it's just, just just go declutter just go purge i mean it's so you make it sound so <laughs> easy and so, so simple yeah. that's the problem sometimes it's like how do i know what i'm not going to use anymore because i can see something in my closet yeah. that i haven't worn in seven years i'm like that may come back in style one day or i may need to use that because i don't have that color how, how do i get out of that mindset to say you know what i don't need this anymore yeah, totally. I think it just comes down to be honest to yourself. If you have not worn it in the past seven years, what are the chances you're going to wear it <laughs> in a week? Come back you know? <laughs> well, when it comes, you know what? If that's the case, then <sighs> definitely get in the habit of archiving your clothes. So put it in the bin mm. and put it, store it in your garage, somewhere that it's not taking space for actual essential items that my needs to go in that specific space. So I am down for always decluttering, but if you wanna hold on to, you know, it might come back in style or you have items that you're just very close and dear to that you don't wanna let go, definitely archive them, but most of it, just declutter and donate to your local charities. Mm. Now, Maggie, it looks very uh, organized behind you. I'm just kind of checking out your space. Very clean, very organized. Yeah. Do you suggest that we take a seasonal approach? Like, you know, we, we still mm. have four seasons here in Atlanta where I am. Um, do we kind of put clothes away, you know, once summer's over, uh, winter? You know, is that what we should be doing as well? Yeah, I always highly recommend to, you know, declutter or clean up slash edit your closet on a seasonal basis. Um, so that means mm. every spring, summer, fall, winter, go through your closet just so you make sure that you don't have items that are taking space for, you know, the season that you are in. So now that we're moving into spring and summer, maybe go through your closet and take away, take out all of your fall and winter items. You can put it into a spare closet if you have one or utilize the bins on the top shelf of your closet. So that way they're out of sight and you can just see exactly the things that you're working with for the season. Well, that's the, the, the thing. You got to be able to see what you're working with. Uh, uh, for me, I got a small <laughs> closet, even though it's a walk-in closet. It's not that big. But then, you know, you might have somebody like my co-host, Sharon, who's got like this big, massive closet that looks like somebody's not bedroom true. with Louis Vuitton man. shoes over here, all these uh, clothes Lie. on this one side over here, Lie. you know, just like a sitting area. Uh, and that could be fake overwhelming news. for somebody. Alternative I, I, well, facts. it's not fake news. We need to have Sharon, you need to come see Sharon's closet and you tell me if it's going to be fake news or not. But well, she can come on and she can fix it. And well, exactly. we're going we're to negotiate Maggie. a price after this. We're going to negotiate a price <laughs> after this. But for somebody <laughs> like Sharon, how, how, does she, how does she avoid not being overwhelmed by this massive work that she has to do, that she has to take on? <laughs> 
Yeah, I would totally, I totally understand. Um, I totally suggest, you know, having your closet by categories then if you have such a huge closet. So that is, you know, keeping keeping everything within its same uh, items group. Uh, also, I think labeling is great. Um, you can get hangers that are different colors as well to separate everything accordingly. Um, but putting labels in between the racks, I think that also makes the system work so much easier uh, for someone yeah. who has such a massive big closet. Um, but definitely, that takes a lot of you know priorities and just making sure your closet remains clean all time if you have such a huge you know inventory of items. Maggie, can I can I tell you a secret? Um, so I actually was looking into this recently. I called to a couple of places to try and get a closet organization, you know, kind of put in there, you know, with the shelves and all this type of stuff. It, it was kind of expensive. And I was like, um, I don't know, I want to pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for somebody to come in there to organize my closet when I could just go get a couple of bins. So how, how do I how do I organize my closet on a budget? That's what I'm asking you, because I yeah. don't have the kind of money that Sharon has. <laughs> yes, <Nice>. definitely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, totally. I think this is a question that I do also yeah. get quite a lot. I highly suggest, you know, if you want to stay on budget, definitely prioritize which if you have a big closet that is being said prioritize exactly what you want to take care of first so if your shoes is you know the areas in your closet that you have way many of and you would like them to be off the floor definitely maybe go to ikea and get a nice bookshelf bookshelves are great organization products that mm. you can also organize your shoes into IKEA. so maybe do that do them by sectional so that way you don't feel one mm -hmm. overwhelmed too stressed and as well as you can save money because we tend to change our mind all the time sometimes when it comes to our yeah. you know, <laughs> space that we love so much so take your time i think that will save you money instead of going out over buying and coming back and returning you're saving time and money so prioritize first yeah. what area you want to organize then tackle those area first I like that. Okay, and Maggie, we're, we're really almost out of time, but I just have one last question for you. I have a friend, newlywed, uh, married to a supermodel, so she only gave him like a broom closet for his items. Can you work with, men don't really guy. need that much space, <laughs> and so you can work you with do. that too, right? They really only need a few shelves, right? <laughs> yes, definitely. I think men do need also a space in the closet where they love and they can go in, you know, yeah. and also keep clean for you so you're not going back over and over, re-cleaning yeah. it, re it up. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. totally. They do need space and it can also be as beautiful. Yeah, well, they don't need well, much. Yeah. But thank you, Maggie. Uh, yeah, that's, I don't, yeah. I mean, she said it all. We like, don't get I'm room inspired. in a closet. We don't get room in a bed. I mean, we got a king. Anyway, that's my as it personal be. issue. Maybe she oh, wasn't talking about so me. Put upon. She wasn't talking about me. Maggie, we're going to have you. We're going to hire you. We're going to hire you to come in there and um, <laughs> going to hire, hire you to come in and um, work it out to work on uh, start your day. So see the whole project, and I know you're going to give us a good price. So I appreciate that. Thank I you so much for to. coming on the show this yeah. morning. Yes. Thank you guys good for price, having Maggie. me. Thank you, Maggie. We're, we're on a budget. <laughs> Thank we don't you. have a lot of money. <laughs>